Nigeria does not have a precedent. Tinubu is not my president. Aisha Yusufu. Nigeria does not have a president. Tinubu is not my president. Aisha Yusufu. To my dear listeners, Aisha Yusufu, a well-known Nigerian activist and co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls, has um, come out to refute the idea of calling Tinubu a, a president. So to my dear listeners, kindly stay tuned as I read to this news. Aisha Yusufu, a well-known Nigerian activist and co-founder of the Bring Back Our Girls movement, recently expressed a strong opposition to the legitimacy of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration. During an interview on the mic on podcast, hosted by Sheung Okimbaloye, Yusufu made it clear that she does not recognize Tinubu as a president. Our objections stem from the belief that Tinubu's victory in the February 2023 presidential election was fraudulent and manipulated to secure the presidency which she called a civilian coup. Yusufu A staunch supporter of Labour Party candidate, Peter Lobi, voiced a dissatisfaction not only with the election result, but also with the verdict of the presidential election petition called PEPC. She accused the court of being biased and failing to deliver justice, particularly highlighting irregularities such as the refusal to the hear court proceedings live, which she found suspicious. She further criticized the judges, claiming their demeanor during the judgment during the, during the judgment indicated bias in favor of Tinubu and its party, the All Progressives Congress. Yesufu's critic touches on wider concerns about the transparency and fairness of Nigerians' electoral process. Many opposition leaders, including Peter Lobi and Atiku Abubakar, have challenged the PEPC ruling and vowed to appeal to the Supreme Court seeking to overturn the election result. Yesufu's position resonates with a significant portion of the Nigerian population, especially those who supported the opposition parties. They argue that irregularities including the failure of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC to electronically transmit results in real time, marred the electoral processes. This has led to continued dissatisfaction with the election outcome and the judiciary's handling of the petitions challenging Tenubu's presidency. While Yusufu's stance may be seen as controversial, it reflects the deep divisions within Nigerian's political landscape. Our activism continues to inspire debate among about the country's democratic institutions and the legitimacy of its leadership. In conclusion, 
Aisha Yusufu remains unwavering in her rejection of Tinubu's presidency, labeling it as an illegitimate rule imposed on the Nigerian people. A call for justice and a return for the people's mandate symbolizes a broader struggle for transparency and fairness in Nigerian electoral process. The political fallout from the 2023 election continues to play out, with many eyes now on the Supreme Court as it's prepared to hear the final appeals. The situation continues to shape Nigerian's political future as activists like Yesufu challenge the status quo in their pursuit of a more just and equitable political system. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, let's move down to the comment section. The first comment I have says, how can Tinubu be your president? Tinubu is Nigerian president and every Nigerian or non-Nigerian living in Nigeria is under his umbrella, whether you like it or not. Another comment here says, since you're not a Nigerian, it's true Tinubu is not your president. And exactly this is one of the problems we are facing in this country. Just like Aisha Yesufu said, he does not see Tinubu as a president. And amidst this hardship, you would still see some people here supporting Tinubu. So there is no how you can achieve something when everybody is not facing the same direction. We all have a different opinion about what is going on in this country. Some, actually, some people actually feel what is going on in this country is is supposed to happen do you believe that that some people actually feel it is normal for such thing to happen why personally i don't see it as um you know i don't i, I, I there's some there's that there is this adage that says there is always um a light at the end of the tunnel but i must tell you that i do not observe 